Good evening and happy November, everyone. I'm Brandon Kinnard, and it's time for sports. Here at Yudri Oshkosh, the time for postseason play is officially upon us, headlined by the women's soccer and volleyball teams. More on that later, but we'll start where we've started all semester long with Titan football action. Over the weekend, the Titans defeated UW Lacrosse on the road for the first time in 45 years. We've got no video evidence of that particular 41-7 win, but uh, take my word for it, it did in fact happen. With the victory and UW Whitewater's second consecutive loss, the Titans have locked up at least a share of the WIAC title for the first time since 1976, and they've clinched their first NCAA playoff berth in program history. Let's take a look at some of the stats from the day. Nate Wera, as always, gaudy numbers. 20 for 30 through the air, as well as well over 300 yards. Also found four receivers in the end zone. Caleb Voss caught two of those TD passes. He had seven receptions for a season-high 171 yards. Defensively, cornerback Tim Filter with yet another interception. That's his sixth pick in five conference games. Just unbelievable numbers for the team captain. As a unit, the Titans defense racked up nine sacks and held its opponent to a single-digit point total for the fourth time this season. As I mentioned earlier, UWO clinches at least a share of the conference title with the win over Lacrosse and uh, UW Whitewater's loss to Stevens Point. As you can see, the win was points first in conference play so far this season. Whitewater, Platteville, and Eau Claire all sit two games back of UWO with two losses apiece, but since the Titans have beaten all three of those teams, they've already clinched the automatic bid to the NCAA tournament from the WIAC. The Titans will play host to UW Stevens Point on Saturday. The Pointers actually helped out the Titans last week by handing Whitewater its second consecutive loss, but uh, rest assured there will be no acts of kindness on the field on Saturday. This Pointers-Titans rivalry in all sports runs deep. While Point only has one conference victory, it did come against that talented Warhawks team, and UWO head coach Pat Cerrone says that when these two teams meet, records, they go out the window. It doesn't matter what the record is when these two teams play. I've been in this series for 13 years. Their team believes in their coaching staff. You can tell by the win last week. They're going to be focused and they're going to be sound and they're going to do everything right. And we've been through a lot here the last three weeks and this is another test. And I, I am, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous because they could come in and dump us pretty easily. Game time between the Pointers and Titans is 1 p.m. on Saturday. You can watch the action live right here on Titan 57 or listen at 90.3 WRST and online at WRST.org. As I mentioned earlier, we've got some postseason action to hand to you. Let's start here in Oshkosh. It's the first round of the WIAC Women's Soccer Tournament. Number four seeded UW Oshkosh playing host to number five seed UW River Falls. The Titans won this tournament last year as a four seed, looking for a repeat this season. The best chance to score came late in the first half. Ashley Nicholas with an open goal, but playing right off the left post. She can't believe it. Even some premature celebration on that one. The Titans would come to regret it. 87th minute. Here's the game winner for the Falcons. Carlin Bunting, the leading goal scorer off a pass from Janie Barron. River Falls wins it 1-0. The Titans season is over after a hot start to the 2012 campaign. They were ranked as high as 14th in the nation earlier this season. Never fear though, the Titan volleyball team got some revenge for their fellow students on the women's soccer team. On the road in River Falls for round one of the conference tournament, the Lady Titans pulled out a dramatic five-set victory over the number four seeded Falcons. With the win, UWO will travel to Stevens Point to take on the conference champion Pointers. That match is scheduled for later Friday night at 7.30. And you can catch all the action with Tyler Lance and Tyler Thrun on your radio dial at 90.3 WRST or online at WRST.org. We're at a seasonal transition point when it comes to college athletics right now. I know we're all excited about the football team success, and rightfully so. But here's even more reason to get psyched. That's right, it's that time of year again, fellow hoops lovers. Basketball season is upon us. Under new head coach Pat Yuckum, the UWO men's soccer team got closer to tipping off its season last Saturday with a scrimmage against Wisconsin Lutheran College in the recently renovated Kolf Sports Center. The Titans will officially begin their season on Wednesday in a big building against an even bigger team. They'll head to the Kohl Center to play an exhibition game against the Wisconsin Badgers. Tip-off is scheduled for 7 p.m. from Madtown, and you can listen live to all the action on, that's right, you guessed it, 90.3 WRST or online at WRST.org. Those guys are all over the place. So don't panic. I know it's getting cold out, but there's warmth around the corner in the form of round orange objects flying through even rounder, even oranger rims. Plus, coming up next, Justine Braun discovers the background story on the upcoming event, Iraq War Symposium. Keep calm and hail Titans. You're watching.